Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into some of the most common mistakes people make with their money and the mindsets you need to adopt to avoid them. You see it everywhere. People living paycheck to paycheck, drowning in debt, and feeling like they'll never get ahead. The truth is, a lot of this comes down to a few key mistakes and a lack of awareness about how money really works. But don't worry, we're going to break it all down today. We'll cover everything from budgeting and avoiding lifestyle creep to the importance of investing early and delaying gratification. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to avoid these common financial pitfalls and start building a brighter financial future for yourself. Look, I get it. Budgeting can seem about as exciting as watching paint dry. But trust me, it's the foundation of everything else in personal finance. Think of it like building a house. You wouldn't start building without a blueprint, right? A budget is your financial blueprint. It tells you where your money is coming from and where it's going. Without it, you're just flying blind, hoping for the best. And let's be real, hoping for the best isn't a very solid financial plan. The good news is, budgeting doesn't have to be complicated. There are tons of apps and methods out there, like the 50-30-20 budget, which allocates 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. The key is to find what works for you and stick to it. Track your spending, categorize it, and see where your money is actually going. You might be surprised at what you find. Remember, awareness is the first step to change. Once you have a clear picture of your spending habits, you can start making adjustments and take control of your finances. We live in a society that constantly bombards us with messages to buy more, have more, and be more. It's easy to fall into the trap of lifestyle creep, where your expenses increase as your income grows. You get a raise, you upgrade your car, you move into a bigger apartment. Suddenly, you're back to square one, living paycheck to paycheck, but now with fancier stuff. It's a vicious cycle. The problem with living beyond your means is that it often leads to debt. And debt, my friends, is a slippery slope. It starts with a little credit card debt here, a car loan there, and before you know it, you're drowning in interest payments. The key to avoiding this trap is to live below your means. That doesn't mean you have to live like a pauper, but it does mean being mindful of your spending and prioritizing your financial goals over keeping up with the Joneses. Remember, true wealth isn't about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep. Life is unpredictable. You never know when you might get hit with an unexpected expense, a medical bill, a car repair, a job loss. These things happen and when they do, you need to be prepared. That's where the emergency fund comes in. It's your financial safety net, there to catch you when life throws you a curveball. Ideally, your emergency fund should have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. I know, I know it seems like a lot of money, but trust me, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Think of it like this. Would you rather sacrifice a few lattes a week now or risk going into debt and jeopardizing your financial future later? Building an emergency fund takes time and discipline, but it's one of the most important things you can do for your financial well-being. Let's talk about compound interest for a second. Albert Einstein called it the eighth wonder of the world, and for good reason. It's the concept of earning interest on your interest, and it's the key to building long-term wealth. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to compound. Even small amounts invested consistently over time can grow into significant sums thanks to the magic of compound interest. Think of it like this. If you invest $100 today and it earns a 7% annual return in 30 years, you'll have over $750. That's without adding another dime. Now imagine the possibilities if you start investing early and contribute regularly. The power of compound interest is truly remarkable. So, don't wait until you're older or making more money to start investing. The best time to start was yesterday. The second best time is today. We live in a world of instant gratification. Want something? Order it online and have it delivered to your doorstep tomorrow. This instant gratification mindset can wreak havoc on our finances. It's easy to fall into the trap of buying things we don't need, with money we don't have, to impress people we don't even like. But true financial freedom comes from delaying gratification and making conscious choices with our money. It's about saving for the future, investing in yourself, and building a life you don't need a vacation from. 
This doesn't mean you can't enjoy your money. It's all about finding a balance. Set financial goals, create a plan to achieve them, and then reward yourself along the way. Remember the most valuable things in life, love, happiness, fulfillment, can't be bought with a credit card. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on managing your money wisely. Remember, achieving financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making conscious choices, developing good habits, and staying consistent over time. See you in the next one.